Coach Kalani said that Cody Epps is expected to be back this week. How big is that going to be for your offense? Well, he's practiced a little bit yesterday and today. Um, had a little setback. I don't know if he's going to be ready, but he did a little bit today. So um, it would be great to get him back if we ever do. <laughs> but he's not, not sure yet. What did you make of the other receiver who, who finally got his debut a little bit a week later in Cubo and his performance and everything? Was it what you expected? Or? Yeah, he's a good player, and he brings a lot of toughness, uh, veteran, veteran presence, and he's just a tough kid that plays with a lot of confidence, and I think the other guys feed off of his, his energy. Are the concerns with the lack of rushing attack the first two weeks overblown, or, or do you feel like it's something that uh, is fixable? Yeah, we're, we'll be able to run the ball this year. I mean, Saturday uh, we were playing against a defense that chose to have safety standing seven yards off the ball, and they were just daring us to throw the ball over their head. And so after the second possession, that's what we started doing. We just we, And we could have, you know, uh, could have kept going right into the, to the end of the fourth quarter. We could have kept throwing it over their head because they were not backing up. So, you know, the offensive linemen can only block five guys, and then there's two or three more guys there that you can't block. And so we chose to throw it. And we had a lot of success doing that. And so I was really happy with 41 points in only 55 plays. That's, that's good. So there's going to be another game here sometime where somebody you know, takes away the pass and dares us to run it. And then that's when we got to prove we could run it. Will Aiden be the starter then this week, first ball carrier out of the gates? Um, LJ is going to start this game. And Aiden's going to play too. And so is Dion. But LJ is going to start this game. What went into that decision to go with LJ to give him the start? Uh, he's breaking tackles. How impressed were you with Keaton Slovis as week two performance compared to week one? Solid day. Yeah, he played well. That was more like what I expect him to do. Um, and uh, I thought he looked good. And you know, it's like playing, you know, playing quarterback is uh, you need you need guys the other ten guys around you to play well. And I thought Saturday our offense played. We executed better. Uh, you know, and gave him a better chance to look good. And then he did his job pretty well. Um, so I was pleased, but need to keep keep working. Isaac Rex has been a big part of this offense for years now. Yeah. What was it like to see him get that 65-yard run? Um, yeah, you know, I'm just proud of Isaac just after everything he's been through. You know, he's the guy's been through a lot physically. Uh, and to see him playing the way he's playing right now is – is, uh, it says a lot about who he is and how much he loves the game and how much he's willing to sacrifice for the team. Last year, he, you know, he was just, I've said it so many times, but uh, he, he really laid it on the line for the team last year to play hurt. And, and uh, it makes us all happy to see him healthy now and running like he used to. You know, he's playing, playing really good football. What's the scouting report for, I mean, without getting into too much of your plan, but like the, any changes from Arkansas defensively compared to last year? I know they've yeah, they're offensively. Man, players. they're a lot better on defense this year than they were a year ago. And uh, they have, they're big and very big, big team. They, all their DBs are 6'2", D linemen or D, D tackles are 318, 320 pounds, 6'4 guys. They got a DN that's 6'7", 280, and another one that's 6'4", 280. It's a big defense. Backers are tough and fast. So just man for man, they have a lot of talent and, and physical tools. And then they're playing really good defense, very sound. Um, they're, they're executing very well, and we have our work cut out for us. They're, you know, statistically, it's only two games, but they're up there with the best defense in the country right now statistically. So it's a huge challenge going to their place and uh, totally different defense than a year ago. You've been high on, on your offensive line. Uh, but you, you're, you like the depth, any reshuffling at that position group? or that No, I, I like those guys, and uh, I, I believe in those guys and, and uh, believe in what we're doing, and, and uh, I think those guys are going to play well on Saturday. How has Chase Roberts uh, improved from, from a year ago to now? Uh, just, you know, just uh, veteran stuff. You know, a year ago, was, he, he, was a, he was a super athlete out there, uh, but every game there was, like, a couple things that would happen, like, oh, that's the first time I've been through that, you know, and then this year um, – you know, it's just the game starts to slow down for you. The more you play it, it's, you know, more more uh, situations each game. It's sort of like been there, done that. Okay, I'm ready for this. I've seen this coverage before. I've seen this pressure before, and I know how to react to it. Um, so he's, he's just playing faster mentally than he did a year ago.
first week, uh, you mentioned that you weren't able to get into kind of the creativity of your offense a little bit. Some of the things were struggling. Second week, it looked like some of those specials came out. And kind of how did you feel bit. about your own play calling from week one to week two? We dusted off a couple things last week, but we're we're probably 30% of what we what we have in store for this season. I mean, we're we're just barely barely getting into the stuff we practiced in fall camp. Yeah, it's it's a long season, and you, you don't want to show everything in the first two games. You know, you got we're playing against some very well coached defenses that have good players, and they'll have great scouting reports on us. We've been running the same offense for three years, so uh, that's that's a factor here. We're we're going against a team that knows a lot more about us than we know about them. So we've been trying to have some things for the coming opponents. Yeah. What's your last concern question? level? I'm sorry if you've been asked. Yeah. With the, with the run game, I know they they played the low safety. Yeah. So what is your concern there? Um, well, we have a lot of work to do, but um, if any time a team plays us like that, we're just going to throw the ball over their head, and that's and we believe we're really confident we can do that um, against a team that doesn't want to back up. We do need to get better. We need to run harder, break tackles. We need to block better at all 11 positions. We need to coach better, and uh, it's a team thing. The run game is an 11-man deal. All right, thanks, Coach. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thanks,